Uh, yeah. Congratulations uh, on, on everything and all that's happening. You. <laughs> you, you are most deserving of good, good cheer. <laughs> thank you very much. Mm. Well, thank you for taking the time. I really appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, my wife and I just got back uh, this afternoon. We went uh, uh, halfway across the state to buy her an embroidery machine. <laughs> oh, so she embroiders? Uh, uh, she's going to start. We bought a, a good quality uh, uh, you know, like a light, better than hobbyist quality uh, embroidery machine. So maybe some slot car news merch in the uh, I was in the future. Say, you can do your own merchandise now. Yeah, and actually be able to make more than a dollar, which is basically what I have all my merch set to for my blog. Because like, if you set it to any more than that, it looks like, you know, why are you charging twenty dollars for a cup? Well, I'm only making a dollar on the cup. <laughs> the company's making the other 18 <laughs> so anyway yeah so uh i started the i mean well your slot I, car news has really exploded since we last talked and you and i'm so yes. so pleased thank so you pleased. i had started it you were one of the people that had encouraged me to to start it or to start doing more with it and i did and basically, I just jumped in with both feet and started to do news again, kind of like I had done just on the blog, Slot Car News, um, but in video form. And I'm just pulling the, uh, I mean, most of the information comes from Facebook or from a, a bit from people's websites, but honestly, not much. I mean, most of it really is just from Facebook posts that but people you, post. But you, still, but you still get some insider stuff. Like oh, with the oh, oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, especially, yeah, I mean, I am. I, I definitely get um, news from different folks, uh, different ways. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's fun. Some weeks it's a little harder than others to find something to post or to, to talk about, rather. Um but then, you know, there are some weeks when you just get so many posts, you know, I have six or eight things and sometimes I forget. There's a lot of forgetting, frankly. It's, <laughs> oh man, my memory is terrible. But um, uh, yeah, I mean, it definitely, I uh, starting, well, I guess I really started to do it in earnest last fall. And, you know, I was pushing and pushing and pushing to, really try to get you know up to a thousand people so i would get uh monetized so i would get at least a little bit of of ad revenue well i got that and then i got to the number of watch hours so i got monetized so it's it's nice that it, it like supplements a little bit um because I, I put a couple hours a week into it oh yeah worth, well, worth the time people including myself would buy you a cup of coffee yeah 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 that was, i think that was awesome yeah, I've thought about starting a uh, Patreon, but, and I have one set up. I haven't posted about it yet because I don't really know, like, I, I don't really know how, how good I can be with regular uh, exclusive content, really, which, which is what that's based on. And it's kind of hard, like, I want all the news to be there for everyone. Because it doesn't make doesn't make sense to me to, you know, have that news. Well, and never be, mind that be also, only also for certain tip, people. And the tips that you're doing for tuning, I mean, they're they're awesome. Yeah, definitely. Um, uh, that's that's definitely helped. I mean, and like LEB is still sponsoring. Um, I mean, I'm still doing, you know, the, the consulting work for them, so that's cool. Um, but it's it's. I mean, it's the pressure is definitely different now that I'm working again full time, but in, in a lot of ways, it's, it's, a, again, it's different because like it requires still a fair amount of time to pull the news together, sure. you know? So, and then put it together, I'm down to maybe depending on how much I have, I can usually get the news edited shot and edited in about an hour, usually an hour and a half at the most. Um, and I try, I've tried some different, uh, ways of shooting it like different cameras i i've done a couple with my phone but they don't look really they don't look very high quality and i tried some with some of my other cameras other than my gopro which is normally what i use and i like the gopro because there's so much in focus so like the table which is behind me here 
Yeah, well, you can see it's right. It's got a great field of view, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's and I can shoot um, I, the way I put things on the table, then everything is in focus on the table. And I tried to shoot with one of my other more high quality cameras. But even with the wide angle lenses, the stuff I was putting on the table wasn't in focus. The, the overall quality looked a lot better. Yeah. But, it, you know, it's not about making a beautiful looking video. It's about the news. What, exactly. It's, it's, what, you're, it's what, only, you're, what you're conveying. Absolutely. It, exactly. So it's only about that for me. It's not, um, <laughs> it's not, it's, it should, it should only be about the news. And, you know, a little bit of fun here and there, a little bit oh, of you know, ridiculousness. Well, I was going to say, you, but you make the news fun. Well, I mean, that's just me being a dipshit. It's no, not no, like... No. I mean, well, first of all, from, from, from the t-shirts, like, you, you must have a heck of a collection of t-shirts. I do have a lot of t-shirts, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, so here's the thing. When I was little, and this is like, this is uh, compensation, I guess. When I was little, uh, my mom, we didn't have a lot of money when I was little. But uh, my mom wouldn't buy me shirts with any writing on them or any like, you know, because that was in the 70s when I was little. And like that's like printed shirts just started to become like a real thing in the 70s with like iron ons and stuff. Right. So like I couldn't buy them when I was little, when I was a kid. So <laughs> now I'm making up for it. <laughs> like my wife, I was just looking at Blip Shift, which is where I get almost all my shirts and uh, blipshift.com they have uh, uh, like a sale or not really a sale, but like they have a lot of shirts on this weekend that are, because normally it's a new shirt every day and then they go off. Well, now it's like, I think there's 30 new shirts on or 30 old shirts that they've brought back this weekend. So, and the problem is they're kind of pricey. They're like 25 bucks shipped. So they're not cheap, uh, 25 American. So that's yeah, what well, 200 that, Canadian. Say, that, that, that you're talking real money, <laughs> yeah. not 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 what everyone calls Canadian confetti. That's like yeah, it's like 200 bucks Canadian. So <laughs> <laughs> if they'd even ship to Canada, which who knows, you know. Good question. Yeah. By the way, thanks for the simultaneous sip. I love it. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I got a I got a nice uh, single malt tonight. Oh, very nice. Yeah, lost Very woman. Nice. Well, in, in 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 deference to our two countries, I have Canadian rye and Coca Cola. Oh well, so we got we got <laughs> Canada and Atlanta. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm a big fan of Coke. I like it. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's uh, the the news has been going really good, and um, uh, it's nice because I'm still in contact with a lot of friends that i worked with or you know other people in the business and well i have um, to mention on that point excuse me for interrupting but the kudas wow are they cool <laughs> oh. yeah yeah i have them all they're they're all i don't know if you can see them in the oh, corner yes, right next yeah. to the light oh, wow they're all right there <gasps> those are all the prototypes are all the well i loved your story about the extra two millimeters yeah, so those are those are all the, the ones at the top. Those are the two. I don't know if I'm in folk and yeah, frame no, no, or not. perfect. It's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Those are the two, those are the prototypes of the first two that we ever made. Wow. So those are uh non-functional uh cars that so they don't even that, have a motor in them? No, 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 no light, no, no uh wiring or not wiring, but the strips, no motor, no nothing, no guides, no nothing. Wow. And the, the tires are, the wheels are silver and they should be white. Right. And yeah, anyway. And then there's the, one of the first green ones. <gasps> I got uh, shipped a case of the green ones early. Um, when the, when they first were testing the mold, I got all, I got a case of green ones. So I got four green ones. And then I got the two uh, racing cars that you see there all at the same time. And I still have three of the green ones. And those are the ones that are before I gave them to Great Traditions, who then numbered all of the, I gave him one out of the first case. And I kept the other three. And I have one that I race, and that one's still in a case. And I actually found another one in a case, a third one in my garage. So I have another one still in my, in the case 
in my garage. And then I have one, uh, it's over here somewhere. Well, it's out of a case. I don't even know where it is. Ah, shit. It's over there somewhere. I got so many, I got the, my desk is a, my desk is a freaking mess. It no, is awful. Okay. That means you're busy. That's all right. I don't know about that. I have a messy desk. <laughs> <laughs> I've been playing a lot of video games. So, but anyway, yeah. So the, the blog is, is great. And it's, um, uh, my viewership is still pretty, pretty well on the rise. Every, I'm still at, um, about 250 new people new subs over the last 29 days 28 days Good there's like you. a metric that you that youtube gives you it's like every day it moves forward but it covers the last 28 days nice. so i am um, it was up to about 400 people new subs like around christmas and when all like the news for the year was coming out and now it's gone down a little bit, but it's still positive, but it's just not trending up quite as fast. But I think there's a there's a, a hard kind of cap on the market that I, I'm not surprised it's a little leveling a little because I've always thought there's about maybe four or five thousand people um, or actually probably triple that probably like eight thousand people in the country in this country. So, you know, it would make sense that many of them get online and some of them have sub to me. So well, it's like kind of a fun. I'm, I'm sure you've got subs from you know, all over. I mean, the UK. I do. Germany. Most yeah. of them are here. Let me look. <laughs> Most of them are US. Right. Um, I have some Canada. Uh, autoplay. God, I hate autoplay. <laughs> Jesus. Um audience um yeah 49 percent viewers in the u.s 10 percent in the uk almost seven percent in australia 5.4 percent canada 3.7 percent germany 66 percent of the people that watch are not subbed 34 yeah, percent of the people that the watch are that's subbed. the general trend for most channels actually yeah, yeah, but ninety nine point six percent of the people that watch are male. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. So I'm not surprised. Right. Twenty three percent are fifty four are forty five to fifty four, fifty five to sixty four is forty percent, okay. and then sixty five plus is twenty three percent. There you go. So so almost all of my viewers, except maybe twelve percent are between 40 are over the age of 45 and and that's the market exactly um so i'm um, and and they're almost all uh english speakers which would make sense because nearly all of my my viewers are you know like 90 percent of my viewers are english-speaking countries the four percent uh germany being obviously the the you know well, the deciding a people, factor a lot of people in germany do speak english yeah, 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 but it's it goes by subtitles too, so it's right. it's a little skewed. But anyway, yeah, so it definitely um, it's interesting to see kind of the metrics of it and to really get a sense of uh, who's watching. And I I had a pretty good sense of that anyway, so it's not didn't really come as a surprise. Um, yeah, but it's 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 good. I mean, it's it's nice to be. Um, to still have some way of, you know, keeping my, keeping the hobby because that was kind of how I was like the hobby was for me early on was doing the news, doing the blog and racing and doing slot car stuff too. But, you know, I really enjoy doing the news. I really enjoy like and, thinking and about that, what's that, coming. Honestly, that really comes through in the way yeah. you present it. And oh, I, cool. think that's, that's... I think that's why everyone enjoys it, including myself. I think it's great. I look forward to it. It's a lot of fun. It's it's fun to uh, it's fun to talk about the stuff, and it's fun to like, you know, because I I don't like I get excited about anyone's cars. You know, if it's a car I like, I'll get excited about it, even if it's you know a car that's not I know won't sell particularly well or is a little wrong. You know, like the <laughs> the new uh, IROC uh, Porsche from 
slot wings that's coming. They're technically the it's a it's the wrong body. I mean, yeah, it would be great if it was the right body. It, it, does it mean that it's the worst thing ever? That it's not the right body? No, of course not. But it's it's the spirit of 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 the of the way it's being marketed. I mean, you know, because mm. remember that the first IROC series was all Porsches. Right. Yeah, and it's I think it's fine that that slot wings fly have done this. I think it's um I think it's great that they're trying something. Yeah. I think it's cool to have them uh go out on a limb and things like that. I mean it's neat, you know, because they're they're a Spanish company. So for them to do something like an American series like that is cool, I think. And uh, I'm encouraging Rafa, uh the Rafael Barrios, the owner, um, because I think it's a cool thing. I'm glad he's doing them. And you know, may if they if they do well, maybe he'll do some American cars at some point. Exactly. That would be cool. Yeah, you never know. Exactly. I would re I really hope that he would at some point. I mean, if we could get a fly Mustang or you know, I don't know, I don't know what, you know, something some American car is just like made for the American market, which I'm sure people would just love if he did. Yeah. So I don't know. You know, it's I'm excited for for the stuff that I see coming. And uh there's some def definitely some good stuff coming from you know, a lot of people this year. Well, I, mean, I have to ask, did you have any influence with moving the release date for the Skelectric's Batmobile up? Moving the date? Oh, God, no. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I have no influence whatsoever with Skelectric these days. I okay. kind of question the, influ the influence I had when I worked there, frankly. But, I mean, it's, no, I absolutely, no, 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 that, no. That date did move, didn't it? Um... I well, so here's the problem with and the reason I ask is because I'm such a huge Batman fan, and my wife and I both met Adam West and Burt Ward, and Adam West tried cool. to pick up my Adam West tried to pick up my wife, but that's another story. But please continue. <laughs> that's cool. Um, no, so here's the thing: is people get really tied up in, you know, like what the release date of a car is, and you know, oh, it's you know going to be released on this this exact time. Well getting stuff from china is like a crapshoot it always is so you never know you know if if something can be moved around then maybe they will have changed the date you know i'm not saying just skeletal just in general so like things things in china there's so many things that can happen and the fact that the date changed i think you know, I mean, maybe they had an opportunity to move it up. Maybe there's a movie coming that they wanted to coincide with. It back on, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's any number of reasons why that may have changed. Um, they, you know, they wanted to move up in the year when they had a sell time, you know, because they know it's going to sell well. So they moved it to the beginning of the year, or more to the beginning of the year, or more to the middle of the year. And that way they have more time to sell it throughout the year rather than wait until the end of the year. You know, because if you, if you backload all of your releases till the end of the year, then you well, only yeah, really you know, get... To, to your point, you have to be concerned about the size of wallet, right? Yeah, exactly. And also too, like you don't, you only get one bite at the Apple then as far as if, if you're a manufacturer. So, you know, if you have release a bunch of things in March or sorry, November, and that, which is usually when a lot of things get released. Well, if they sell really well, you don't get a chance to make more of them, which I know is something that I always say rarely happens, but this will happen with some Skelector cars, I think, because they're selling really well like the Back to the Future cars have sold really well. And some of the other things I think have sold really well. And I think they realize, and this is totally a guess. I don't know this. I haven't talked to anybody there. Believe me. <laughs> um, may, maybe that if they have them at the beginning of the year, especially ones that they're sure will sell really well, then they can maybe get another run of them done. And also if they have them at the beginning of the year, they have to sell what they make throughout the year also. Yes. So not counting on all of them selling in the fourth quarter, which is frankly when most slot cars sell anyway. Right. That's like 80% of the business is done in the fourth quarter of the year and done usually in like the last month of the year, which the last month is, you know, like November 
1st through December 10th. Yeah. That's really the last month of the year, not because December is shot to shit with, you know, with shipping and with the holidays and whatever holidays, right. you know, there are Boxing Day and yeah, Hanukkah yeah. and yeah. every holiday. Yeah, you're right. A lot, of, a lot of the month gets eroded in the holidays. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. And when things can ship and when places are open to ship. And right. so, you know, the, the last month of the year for as far as shipping from a manufacturer to a retailer and a retailer to a consumer is like the very beginning of November. That's that's when you need stuff in the in the country. country yeah. So I, I'm not surprised that it got moved up because this car is going to be popular. I've been screaming for this car for years. Well, I, I asked there, for this I, car I mean, when I, I, I worked I for Carrera. I can imagine the, the, the labyrinth of, of <laughs> licensing. I mean, between Barris and Warner yeah, Brothers. And... I, I, I don't know who would technically own that car. It was done... When I worked there, I saw the prototype on the designer's desk. The designer was the, the female designer that um, that designed the IROC. Um, she her her first project was the IROC, and then uh, I happened to be there. The last visit I took to England, uh, I was there and I saw the prototype on her desk. And uh, yeah, it's got the bat the old logo in the bottom and the, as like the cooling holes and stuff and i thought that was really cool because they had just started to do that because i i took pictures of the mustang when i was there too the the gt4s that are out now so it was cool to see the the prototype i didn't take a picture of it when i was there i well, should have now <laughs> and, well, and you made a great point about sizing because the futura was a huge car it was a massive car yeah and i'm interested to see really how big that car is because it i put the uh polar lights car in which, which the, was the which was the aurora mold from the 60s exactly yeah and i put it in there and it barely fit <clears throat> so i mean it fit but it there was like only a little bit of room i think i put it away yeah i put the box away or actually it's on top of my case or on top of my new rack up here but um but it's a big car yeah you're right so i mean i'm hoping that the one that they've done is big because i think this car is going to get a ton of scrutiny yeah um and i'm hoping that they i i the color looks really nice on it and you know that's the only thing i can judge because i judge the i can i saw the shape and the prototype that i saw was a it was a test shot um, from uh, early shot from the mold because it was uh, it wasn't rapid printed it was a, you could tell it was a uh, it wasn't a resin car either you could tell it was a ejection molded um, and the shapes look fantastic which I mean everyone can see from the photos the shape yeah. looked really good yeah. so uh, yeah I mean I, I'm I'm optimistic they they do a nice job on cars so uh, they do, yeah you know they do. yeah I'm, yeah I'm, 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 that, I'm that's certainly a I, I, I'm I'm planning to purchase a couple. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to get one myself. I mean, I argued for it for so long. I started asking when I worked the Carrera to make that car, and you know they had done other Batmobiles, so there wasn't really much that they were, you know, they weren't really sure if they wanted to do it. And but I think this car is going to be. I think it should be really popular. Oh, yeah. Because well, it's one of the most notable cars ever. Well, remember that in the 60s, that was the car that kept Corgi going. I know. I know. And being them, Hornby owning Corgi yeah. and reshooting those old molds because they did. I had, I had that Corgi when I was little. Yeah. And then it was, you know, weird to work for the company then later in life. That's so, awesome. I think that's absolutely yeah. awesome. I had I have Airfix people too from when I was little and then I worked for them. So because it's all it was Hornby. So it was all of the the Hornby stuff was so anyway. That's, but that's yeah, so uh uh I think um I think that's a trend you'll see. I think you're gonna see more um uh cars from them that are uh, movie cars i think we had talked uh about getting more getting more uh popular culture cars in the line um so 
Uh, I mean, they've already they started. They had quite a few TV cars. They had Star Star Starsky and Hutch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they've had, yes. There's been a lot of them. So they have a history of doing that, uh, more so than other companies. So I would expect them in the future to, to keep doing that. It's... Well, and, they, and they've got the, the, the kit um, a Firebird coming up. Yes, exactly. Yes. Uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, that's, it's, it's good stuff. I mean, there, there's some neat stuff and I'm, I'm glad they're doing more TV cars. I really that's am. Awesome. Well, movie no, I, I, movie, I movie to, and TV. I have to ask you, you, you must have a little bit of a, a digital tuner on your crystal ball. Do you know if anything interesting is coming down the pipe that you can talk about or no? Nothing that I could talk about. Okay. <laughs> I had to ask. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's fine. I, I, we had talked about a lot of stuff when I was there and um, yeah, I'll let them, I'll let them announce it and then I'll, okay. I'll do my commentary after. <laughs> after you know, but that, no, that's fair. I, but I'm sorry. I, I had to ask. That's fine. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, man. Yeah. So um, as far as your own builds, I, I got to ask, have you got your own track planned out or you thought about it yet? Um, so what I'm going to do is because I, I do have a wood track here at my house, a small little three lane wood track. What I'm thinking about doing is that rearranging the downstairs here and taking out. I have like an old couch down here and an old uh, like a big chair. And if I take those out, but then I don't have a nice couch to lay down on. So I, I don't know what I'm going to do about my wood track. I may just leave it in, in the garage. And I, I do have a big table in my garage as well. I have a five by 16 foot table that my, some friends built for me when I, when I first moved into the house here. So I'm thinking about cleaning that off again and putting a polycar track down on it um because you, you heard about the you heard about the big polycar track that's going up in toronto oh yeah i, I yeah i've known about that for a while yeah okay. uh, ernie uh, Mazzetti. yeah right yeah so i um uh i do have uh enough polycar track to put up a you know a, a kind of modest uh two lane uh track and i do have lights out there so i have the same kind of work lights that i use for most of my studio lighting, I have several of them out, out in the garage already. So I could, I, I already, I can't shoot out there. I actually used to do videos for the Carrera of America YouTube channel out there. Um, like all of the videos that are on my YouTube or on their YouTube for um, how to use the, uh, the accessories. Most of them I shot in my garage. Really? So that's, yeah, yeah, with just like my phone or um, <coughs> a cheap uh, little video camera that I had years ago. So there's um, uh, there's already light out there. So I could shoot out there. I just need to clean off the table. <laughs> it's it's full of uh, <laughs> it's full of lots of samples <laughs> of varying types of samples, not slot cars actually. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Fair enough. But yeah, because it would be so cool when you talk about the way you tune a car to actually show the improvements you're, you're doing to a car. Yeah, I would need to get a lap timing system, which that's not a terribly difficult thing to do. There's that lap timer. Uh, I think it was Smart Race has a lap timer that you put in. I think it's them that you uh, download on your phone and it's got like a zone on it. It was in early one of my... Uh, news videos a couple months ago and it just you can set it to like see a zone on a track you put it right next to the track and it'll see when a car goes past so i could use that for lap timing yeah it would be nice i kind of you know covid like everything else put a monkey wrench into everything because i was i just wanted to go up to my friend clems and right. and race and you know do videos on his four lane track because now, he's, he's got a he's doing big well career now, track. I hope. How's oh he's fine? fine yeah okay he's fine he's fully well he's i don't know if he's fully recovered but he's he's recovered and um yeah he's fine he's in fine health now yeah thank that i'm glad i'm just oh, that's great yeah no, yeah that, it was that's really good news <laughs> yeah it was just so much last year with all just family members passing away and friends and stuff it was just it's just horrendous i mean everyone 
you know, everyone, everyone had a shitty year. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, I mean, that's, uh, I, I would like to get a track up and I know I really do need one. I absolutely need one up. Um, and I do want to have a Policar track up. And plus it's fun. It's, yeah, it is. I mean, the problem is it's like just me, you know, cause my wife doesn't care. My son doesn't care. They don't, they don't care about slot cars. So <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, what I, well built, maybe if you built one or two for just for them, would that help? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> my 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 son's been around slot cars literally his entire life, and couldn't care less. Well, you know, you know the old saying, cars. Dave: the shoemaker's son always goes barefoot, right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> my son, he likes video games, and that's fine. I, I support him doing that. I'm going to build him a gaming PC here soon. Like I built for myself, but we got all, all new stuff. So he's actually going to have a really kick-ass PC and I, I'm stuck with the older one now, <laughs> but that's cool. <laughs> that is so cool. Well, geez, I'm so glad everything's going so well, man. Yeah. Yeah. You're and your channel is doing well. I, some of your videos are pretty cool with the tuning and the Porsche series and the, you know, it's cool to see the whole process you're going through with, uh, the stuff you're doing and um yeah it's it's neat it's neat to see kind of what's happened i think not necessarily because of covid but definitely as an offshoot like so many people now doing you know they're doing at home stuff so now you know zoom became a thing and the thing that you know most people have now and you know we get to exchange ideas and i started the blog because of the because of the pandemic, you know, or started the, the vlogging because of the pandemic. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's been, there have been some benefits in some minuscule little way about. Well, there's, there's an old, again, I, I, I defer to your, your countrymen in Texas who always say it's an ill wind that doesn't blow some good. Yeah. Yeah. It definitely. Um, I've seen a lot of, uh, I think there's been a lot of growth in our hobby, but in all hobbies, yes. that's one thing I think that's kind of a trend is that <clears throat> certainly here, and I believe, absolutely believe in Canada because it had more of a foothold in Canada, but um, hobbies in the pandemic have really come back with a, with a strength. Um, sewing, I know has, because I've been talking with my wife about it oh. and all over the country, sewing machines are out of stock. Really? And embroidery machines are out of stock because there's so many people, not just women, so many people doing sewing as a hobby again and gardening, yeah. gardening supplies, seeds for, for birds. planting vegetables and, planting, and, and birds, apparently like birds. Yeah. Oh my God. Birding. Yeah. Cause my wife and I, that's all I did last summer basically was birding, you know, like just driving around looking for birds with my, with my long lens and, you know, lots of time on my hands. And uh, yeah, so it's definitely, there's been a lot of people doing a lot of other hobbies, like very tactile, you know, all kinds of, all well, kinds of I mean, what we consider hobbies. Real, three-dimensional real world stuff. Well, but, but kind of, you know, everything in general, I'm sure video games have definitely gone up as well because yeah. people have been home. But it definitely, there was a definite resurgence in real hobbies as well. Real hobbies, it's the wrong words. In, you know, like tactile right. hobbies, at home, analog. I was going to say, yeah, you, you got the right word there, analog. Right, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So that's, that's been a really good, you know, kind of side thing that's happened with people, you know, have had to spend more time with their families or alone at home and they decided to do a hobby whether it's you know collecting stamps or bird watching or gardening or whatever i mean you go anywhere and you, you can't get bird seed you can't get bird houses yeah you know you can't like we went looking for bird seed last year a couple times and i had to go to two different places just to find bird seed and i live in you know a pretty rural area and we, we have a lot of places to buy bird seed here trust me it's it's there's a lot of a lot of uh, farm supply places where i live but there's it just uh it's been pretty cool to see and the dealers that i've talked with uh have all said the same thing that they saw a huge uptick in slot car sales 
And um, some of them have seen, you know, massive uptick to the point where it's like they're, it's been Christmas for quality of sales for them more for more than a year now. Oh, that been, high, really? That high, yes. One person I've, in particular, well, I don't want to speak for, the, I don't want to speak about the, yeah, I mean, definitely I've heard from two different people, major dealers, one for sure <laughs> that says that he's, he's picking and packing all day long and it's been like this it's been on a on a real high pitch all year that's and great through the holidays and it just it didn't really slow down obviously it picked up around christmas but it didn't slow down after much um not like it nor normally falls off a cliff yeah, when well, you you'd mentioned that earlier that you know as soon as the christmas season is over it's oh it's over as soon as it gets warm in the northeast that's really the end of, you know, serious slot car sales. Like you can see it if you, if you're, you know, watching the, you know, the inside of a sales of the sales of a company, you can see it fall off of a cliff, you know, one month to another, you know, March to April. It's, it's that, you, you mentioned that before. It's just oh, that dramatic. Yeah. It's literally a cliff. And then it stays low all summer. And even if it's, you know, it just, it's just horrible until it starts to get cold again right. until after back to school. Right. So usually like, you know, end of October, like around Halloween here in the States, you know, in Pennsylvania, when it starts to get really cold again. Um, yeah. So it's, it's, uh, it's definitely seasonal except for the last year and a half, except for the last year, I should say. Right. Um, yeah, so that's definitely a trend. Is I think people have have found refound hobbies or tried to find a hobby. Yeah. So I think that's you know, and I've heard from other people in other businesses that I had you know because I've been I applied for a ton of jobs, and um, when I would talk to various people in other industries or talk to some people through LinkedIn, and they say, oh yeah, I'm in the whatever business and you know, it's been, you know, like home supplies, you know, the home renovations and things. It's been crazy. So it's because people are at home. Right. right. So, All right. yeah. Cool. All right, man. Well, yeah. listen, I, we're going to get in touch again in a little while, but congratulations yeah. on your channel. Congratulations on your, your new, uh, your new, Thanks. Update, new job. And yeah, uh, I, I, you know, as always wish you nothing but, but the best for you and your family. Thanks. I appreciate that. It's meant a lot to me to have you uh, be so supportive and uh, I really appreciate it. So, it's uh, been, well, listen, it's been my pleasure. And honestly, all I was doing was telling the truth. Well, yeah, no, I know, but it's just, it's nice to hear that, you know, that positive affirmation, that reinforcement of just, you know, you just need to start doing this. And that's what I did. I just started doing it again. Yeah. It, you know, it's like, it's, it feels it looks like it's easy for me because it's like, I don't really need to, I just need to like, just talk about the stuff that I'm already excited about anyway. And, you know, so it's not like it requires a lot of effort for me to talk about slot cars for God's sake. I can, I, when I worked at Carrera, I, I was a toy fair one year and my boss, Ed, who was then my boss at Skeletric, um, and was, and Ed walked up, walked a guy up to me at a, and Ed's like, Hey, Dave, uh, walk this guy through the system, you know, do your, do your deal. I'm like, all right. So I start talking and talking and talking. And after about five minutes into it, he stops me and he looks over at my boss. My boss is just standing there, there with a big grin on his face. And the guy looks at my boss and he said, you pay this guy. He would do this for free. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like this guy was like some big wig at like one of the major toy companies like mattel or something like and he's like <laughs> like you you know you really don't need to pay this guy he would he would stand here all day and do this for free so <laughs> awesome. but yeah i mean it's it's uh it's fun and it's nice that you know there's a, a little bit of distance between me and you know some of the <laughs> the difficulties of last year let's say <laughs> um but yeah. yeah and and you know it, it's funny in the rearview mirror it, hopefully it doesn't seem like it was that that long a time um 
No, I mean, it was, it's still, I mean, it just, it really, I had a lot more than I wanted to do because I was only at Hornby a short time. And I mean, we just got the 135th scale models introduced and I first started to started to market them. And that's something that I was like so passionate about, about getting them into 135th scale. And, and, you know, recently the brand manager, uh, man, uh, yeah, head of brand, Daryl Burge, the guy that I had talked to, he, par- he passed away. Yeah. Uh, he had a heart attack. He died suddenly just a couple of weeks ago. Um, so, you know, like I just started to work there. I only had two years there. So it was just like so painful because I had so much I wanted to do and so much I was excited about doing, like honestly just like thrilled to be working for all these brands that I had grown up with as a kid. Um, like from my littlest, from my youngest days as a kid, Hornby or uh, Airfix stuff and Corgi, um, that and then you know skeletric and later life but anyway so yeah i mean it's it doesn't like hurt as much but it's still you know just like it's really it's still really hard to look at the stuff and think that i'm not there and that i can't you know like have an active part in being there to be you know fully behind and fully excited about the stuff that i i mean i still love the stuff it's all it's great shit. I mean, the Airfix stuff is just like, just, uh, the models are fantastic. So anyway, but yeah, and it's nice. Um, it's really nice working with Lynn and Robert at LEB. Um, they have been so supportive from the very beginning. And um, it was really great to have their support through a, you know, a really difficult time. And I'll be honest, financially, just, you know, the, the, the money that I'm making is, was, you know, really meant a lot to my family and, and it, it was great to really be able to, you know, help them in some small way and to work with Slotted um, because, you know, I mean, I've been friends with Maurizio for quite a long time and Jesus, I love the stuff that he makes. So in that way, it's, you know, it's really exciting to still, obviously, to, help him in, in some small way to help market on his because uh, I managed the I started the uh, Instagram for them uh, I'm the only one that posts there uh, follow them uh, slot it uh, underscore Policar I'll, I'll, and, I'll, put, I'll put a link in, in the description cool. for this video yeah no worries yeah cool yeah I'll, no, I'll and, also, and also for your channel so not to worry yeah and for the channel yeah definitely but it's just nice to be able to support um, to be able to have conversations with him and you know because he's he's really you know it's like he's like the bones of the hobby you know it's like the the real hardcore people like that are like you know really what you know is it's so it's just the the best stuff in the hobby basically as far as i'm concerned well that kind of stuff stuff. so are you (laughs) no listen i i I hope i know i speak for everyone who, who who watches what you do on your channel and i just want to say thank you for what you do well i appreciate that it's it is it is fun and to be able to contribute in a direct way to helping people know when stuff arrives because that's one thing i will be critical of the companies about not slot it because i'm the one helping them directly post when their news comes when their stuff comes but all the other companies um uh well the home set companies not nsr you know scale electric and carrera they don't you need to tell people when your stuff is arriving i mean they they tell their dealers carrera is the worst offender really i mean just like you need to tell stuff tell people when stuff is arriving the tell tell the consumers when stuff is arriving the fact that you know, like there's nearly no Carrera news, just little bits here and there that I post because Lynn sends me the news. She'll say, oh, I got this in stock. That's the only way I know if anything arrives from Carrera. They don't post news on their Facebook page. I don't follow it anymore because, you know, what do I need to know? 
you know, they they near, they post nothing of any use to anybody on their page, Pereira. And Skeletric posts, you know, some newsy stuff, but not as much as they could. And I know they have really good people there that that just manage social media, and I'd encourage them to post more news <laughs> because you know we need them letting people know when stuff is, arrives in the market and because people will buy it exactly and the fact that you know i'm getting this third hand because the dealer gets it from hornby. hornby i get it from the dealer. dealer so i or i'll say or i'll see someone else posted some Hobby is posted from England. Hey, I see the Skelliker car just arrived at Pendle slot. You know, or in Germany, the same thing. So, so well, that's why your logo is very apropos with, with the megaphone. Yes. Well, yeah, it's a news hawker. That's right, the, yeah, the, exactly. the, 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 the boy on the street yep. selling the newspapers. <laughs> and I have a couple of those hats now. I'm actually working, I'm trying to get Boston Scally, the company. That I buy the hats from to sponsor some of my stream because I I've been wearing those hats more and the company that I um, buy all the t-shirts from I've contacted them a couple times the blip shift all those the the car t-shirts because you know people know how many shirts I I have I like I wear a different shirt every time oh yeah it's awesome and I've contacted them a couple times and they said well you know basically your channel wasn't big enough yet. So I'm one, I'm going to contact them again and see what their affiliate, like, cause if I could just get like, people would want to know news from them even because yeah. <laughs> oh, the, everyone, everyone like, and I may start including that in my news because there's a lot of guys that I know would buy those shirts yeah. <laughs> and I may just do it just to do it <laughs> Absolutely. because there's that a lot a great of great idea. shirts that they have. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And if you need a nice single malt, Loch Lomond is, uh, <laughs> I get okay. no sponsorship, but, but well, it's, a that, bit, it, it's a fine, it's a fine weed ram. It's a brobrith moonlich nicht Cheers to you, lad. Aye, that it is. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, thanks again, man. We'll talk to you soon. Cheers, John. <laughs> right. mm. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe.